what is wine wine is an acronym for wine is not an emulator basically it's a way to run microsoft windows application on other POSIX compliant operating systems such as linux bst or mac os basically what it does is it translates windows api calls into POSIX calls and, li and like i said before POSIX basically means operating systems such as linux mac os and bst basically POSIX means unix based operating systems to install wine first we'll have to ascertain if the operating system you're running is a 32-bit or a 64-bit system if it's a 64-bit system then you will have to add architecture to support 32-bit software first let's check if we are running a 32-bit system or a 64-bit system to do that open up the command line and type neofetch NeoFetch is an amazing command line tool that shows information about your operating system. In the past, I have done video on various ways to grab information about the operating system. I add the link to said video in the description. See where it says x86 underscore 64 right next to OS. You know where it says Linux Mint 19.3 Tracia and then x86 underscore 64 x86 underscore 64 basically means it's a 64-bit operating system to add 32-bit support type in the command line sudo dpkg double dash add dash architecture i386 I'll link up the page where I'm copy and pasting my commands from so you can copy and paste it for yourself. Hit the enter key. It's asking for my password. Let me type in my password. Next stop, you will have to download and add the repository key. Okay, first we'll have to use the wget command line download manager to download the wine hq key after which we'll have to move the wine hq key to this folder user slash share slash key rings now you'll have to add the repository for your specific version of linux the one that you're using in my case, because I have an old laptop, I use Linux 19.3, you know, Linux Mint 19.3 Tricia to be more specific with the exact version of Linux Mint that I'm using. As I have mentioned before, I'll put up the link to wherever I'm copying my commands from, you know, the web page that you're seeing frequently on the screen from where I'm copying my commands. I'll put a link to that in the description so you don't have to type the commands yourself. You can just copy and paste the commands the way I'm doing. Now we'll have to update our newly added repositories. To do that, either type or of course uh, copy or paste it from here. The command sudo apt update. This will update the repositories. This step is important because, you know, we just added new repositories. We have to update it. Otherwise, it will fetch old software because unless you update it, it will have the older version of the software in the repository. Hence, it will, you know, fetch older version of the software. So it's necessary that we update our system. now we download and install the stable version of the package you know the stable version of the software you can say to do that copy and paste the command right next to where it says stable branch press the y key on your keyboard then hit the enter key 
Okay, because I do not want to waste your time, I will fast forward the installation process. Okay, so now that we have installed Wine on our system, let's take Wine out on a test drive. Let's see if we will be able to run a Windows application using Wine. In this video, you know, for this video, I'll be running Age of Mythology computer game. The game obviously is intended to run on Windows, but we'll see if we will be able to run it on Linux. Left click the icon of whatever Windows app you're trying to run and then click where it says open with Wine Windows Program Loader. Wine will install stuff it needs to run your Windows app. So be patient, it can take a while. After everything has been installed, let's try to run the app one more time. As you can see, the setup file is installing the game on my system as it would on a Windows system. Even though our system obviously is Linux, it's not a, a Windows box. But you know, the app is basically functioning as if it's a Windows box, you know. It's just installing the application as it would on a Windows box. In other words, Wine is doing what it was intended to do. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe.